Hi, my name is Denise and I'm a librarian at Sachem Public Library. We're going to learn how to use Sachem Public Library's Hoopla downloading service on a PC or Mac computer. Hoopla is a media downloading service that allows us to borrow and download movies, television shows, audiobooks, and music. Sachem Library has subscribed to this service for Sachem Library card holders only. So we're going to start off by going online and opening the library's homepage, which is www.sachemlibrary.org. Depending on which material we're looking to borrow, we can click on either music, videos, or audiobooks in the download section on the left side of the library homepage. Here we'll find descriptions of the different services that can be used to download our chosen material type. In this case, for music, we offer the free gull downloading service, Hoopla, and Overdrive. Within the Hoopla service description, you will find a link to printable instructions for using this service with many different devices. Uh, feel free to print out these instructions for future reference. And once we're finished looking at the instructions, we can just close the tab by clicking the X in the top corner. Next, we'll click on either the image, Hoopla, or the link text to be brought right to the Hoopla homepage. Now we need to create a Hoopla account. We'll start by clicking on Login at the top of the screen, and then we'll click Sign Up Now at the bottom of the screen to create a new account. Now we select our home library, Sachem Public Library, and we need to enter an email address twice and a password twice, and then our library card barcode number to validate that we're a Sachem Library patron, and then we'll click Sign Up Now. Feel free to review the site's terms and conditions or privacy policy before you click Sign Up Now. Once our account is created, we can click on Browse Titles to go right to the Hoopla homepage. At the top of the screen, we have My Titles, which is a listing of all the items we currently have borrowed through Hoopla. As ours is a new account, of course, we have no titles borrowed. But it does let us know that we can borrow eight more titles this month. Satrum patrons are limited to borrowing a maximum of eight items per month per library card through Hoopla. Underneath the My Titles section is a section for each of the different item formats we can borrow using Hoopla. Movies, music, audiobooks, and television. We can browse through a small selection of items in each format by clicking the dot under each format or by clicking on Browse All at the top right of the format to see all available items in that format. Once we're browsing through an individual format, we can click the drop-down Browse menu of that format to see the different lists of recommended items or the different genres available in that format. At the top of every screen, we have the option to search for a particular title, author, artist, or actor by entering that information in the search box. Click on an item for a description and the lending time for that item. Movies and television shows lend for two or three days, music lends for seven days, and audiobooks lend for 21 days. There are no waiting lists for any items on Hoopla. Every item is always available to be borrowed by any of our patrons at any time. When we find an item we wish to borrow, we can click on the Borrow button. 
Once we click Borrow, Hoopla lets us know when our loan will expire. And we can click Play to start playing our borrowed item right away. Or we can click on the Hoopla icon at the top to return to the Hoopla homepage and browse or search for more items. To access any of our borrowed materials, we simply click on them in the My Titles section. Once we click Play, we should get a message about a missing plugin for our internet browser. In order to play movies and television shows on our PC or Mac, Hoopla requires a plugin called Widevine, which is downloadable for free onto our computer. It's a very small piece of software that runs within our internet browser to play the video images available from Hoopla. So to download the software, we click Install Plugin, and then Install Now when we get to the download page. Once the installation is complete, we click Close, and we can close the tab for the download and return to the Hoopla tab by using the little X at the top of the tab. We can now click the back button in our browser and click play again on the video page. Our video will now begin playing in our browser. Items borrowed from Hoopla using a PC or Mac computer cannot be downloaded onto that PC or Mac computer. They must be streamed over a live internet connection. Only items borrowed using the Hoopla app on a mobile device such as a smartphone or a tablet can be downloaded for offline use. Now if we mouse over the viewing area, we can pause the playback, we can replay the last 30 seconds of the video. We can skip ahead or back using the slide bar along the bottom. We can adjust the playback volume. We can add closed captioning if it is available for our particular video. And we can make the video full screen size. To get out of full screen mode, we simply hit the escape key on our keyboard. To stop watching this video and return to Hoopla, we can click the back arrow at the top right of the small view screen. Hoopla will save the location we left off in the video so it can resume playback in that same location at a later time. Hoopla enables us to create a personal list of favorite items in their catalog so that we can look through it and borrow those items whenever we would like, a wish list of sorts. But it can also be a list of items we like to borrow regularly. The key to favorites is that we aren't borrowing them, we're just making a list of them. To add an item to our favorites list, we click the Add to Favorites button in that item record. Remember, we can add any item to our favorites, one we have borrowed, now or in the past, and ones we want to borrow in the future. To access our favorites list, we must go back to the Hoopla homepage and click on the See All link next to the My Titles section. Our borrowed items will show at the top of the page and our favorites are listed underneath. We can click on any of the favorites to get to that item's page and borrow it at any time. From that page, we can also click on any of our already borrowed items to start or resume playback of that item. If we click on our login name at the top of the screen, we get access to our Hoopla account profile so that we can make changes to our email address, password, home library, barcode number, and even subscribe or unsubscribe to Hoopla email updates. This is also where we can view our borrowing history and our Hoopla account recommendation settings. The recommendation settings allow us to tell Hoopla which kinds of movies, music, audiobooks, and television we prefer so it can recommend items in its collection that fit into those areas. 
These can be adjusted at any time you're logged into your Hoopla account simply by clicking your login name at the top of the screen. Once we're finished selecting our recommendation areas, we must click Done at the top for the changes to take effect. And once we make any adjustments to our Hoopla profile, we need to click the Update button at the bottom to make our changes permanent. At the very bottom of each page are links to sign up for Hoopla's email newsletter, like Hoopla on Facebook, follow Hoopla on Twitter, and follow Hoopla on Pinterest. They also have links for something called Hoopla U, which is for second year college students or older who are interested in earning money by marketing Hoopla at their university to other students. Contact us is for questions or feedback that will get sent directly to Hoopla, not to the library. Help has a lot of answers to the most frequently asked questions about the Hoopla services, and we always have access to Hoopla's terms and conditions and their privacy policy right here at the bottom of the page. Now once we're finished using Hoopla, there is a sign out link that we click at the top of the page next to our login name. If you need any help using Hoopla or you have any questions or concerns about the service, please contact the library's Adult Reference Desk first at 631-588-5024 or come in and speak to us about it. Thank you very much for your time and enjoy the Hoopla downloading service.